Hey guys, I'm Rob, and today you join me for episode 31, not 30, of the Lamborghini Gallardo Performante Spider. Now I love this particular model of the Gallardo, and this is the model that I will be replicating today. Now first I'm going to start off using this AutoArt Superleggera Coupe, and I will be chopping the roof off and converting it to the Spider. I also bought this white Norev Gallardo Spider to use for some parts uh, as the AutoArt version is much more detailed than the Norev version. So uh, that was the idea and hopefully it will work out. So first I strip the AutoArt model of all its pieces and then I strip the Norev model of all its pieces. Now I'm going to be using these parts of the Norev and fit them onto the AutoArt model. So mainly the rear engine lid, convertible soft top and some other parts. Now first I marked out where I wanted to cut the body uh, and next I will be getting out the Dremel and cutting the roof off. So uh, I over, over cut first, I don't want to cut too much away. Uh, and then I just test fit the engine cover on to just check the widths and at this stage it seemed like it was going to work fine. Now before I cut further with the die cast I always double or triple check everything. I then cut out the bulk of the die cast on the sides including these top, top inner parts where these screw posts are uh, and test fit the convertible top to see if it fits in there. All good so far, it looks like it's going to fit with a little bit more filing of the die cast auto art body. Uh, it looks like this will be a good fit. Now these models are both 118 scale and very similar in size. I then stripped all the paint off the auto art model, uh, as you can see here, and also stripped the paint off the Norev engine lid. Now these side sections here uh, require a bit more cutting, uh, but I'll get to that a bit later. Just checking with the interior fitting back into the AutoArt model. A little bit of trimming is required from the posts on the interior trim behind the seats, just to clear the engine lid. I just sat the chassis back underneath the body to check it as well. Uh, I've got these AutoArt Pagani Wara hinges that I may use later more on that. I'm not sure that these were going to work though. There's just not enough clearance for them and they are not going to open at the right angle. Next I moved to the front of the model. I just drilled a couple of little holes in the die cast body so that the putty had a bit more to grab to. This is just to me a two part quick putty uh, and I added some on the rear as well as I overcut that. Before the putty is fully set, I use my X-Acto knife to cut away a lot of the bulk. Here you can see the little add-ons of putty I needed in the rear. And then back to the front, I sand the top shape first and I run a center line down through the middle of the model. Now the bumper on this model is the same as the Super Trofeo, so I made a template of the AutoArt Super Trofeo and then basically shaped the front bumper bar to suit the template I made of the other model. A quick coat of grey primer just to see where I'm at, a little bit more filling is required. Uh, I always do this step as it's very hard to see little holes and cracks. Now this is the engine assembly and the convertible top assembly uh, that I will be using as well. Initially I was going to use this AutoArt engine uh, but it was not going to work with the Norev part and the back assembly where all the air boxes are is completely different on the Spider as well. So I ended up deciding to just scrap that AutoArt engine part and I will reuse these two parts from Norev. So just test fitting that into the body. I had to cut a lot of the AutoArt subframe away to make that fit, uh, but at this stage it fits as well, just trying the engine cover. Now this assembly part has to sit a lot lower, so uh, if I cut any more off the sides, those cast posts where the chassis screws into would be removed. Uh, so I added some putty in there to hold those posts into the die cast body. I then moved on to the convertible top sitting that in place as I had to trim more off the front of the rim screen which I've done here and the convertible top seems to sit in there. 
Although it does need a little bit of trimming at the front to get the angle right, uh, remember this came from another model car, so uh, there's slight differences between different manufacturers uh, with these 118 scale Gallardos. Now I do want to retain the back section of the front windscreen of the Norev, which will be fitted in behind the windscreen of the AutoArt model. This is the convertible top assembly sitting a bit lower uh, and it seems to work now as the engine lid fits back on. So as you can see here, this is the Norev convertible top storage box and the engine cover uh, sitting in on top of the AutoArt chassis. Again, just continually checking that everything fits uh, and I can keep trimming as I go to make sure it fits. A Little bit of fine uh, Tamiya putty on the front nose and while that was drying I added some Lamborghini decals and Perfumante decals to the seats. A final sand of the front bumper bar and some more grey primer uh, and that pretty much just needs a little bit of a tweak here and there but that is basically the shape. Now the Gallardo Spider has these little posts on the top of the doors so I cut those off the interior trims of the Norev model and glued them onto the doors of the AutoArt model. So that gives the basic shape. Now back to these engine hinges, they were just not going to work. So I found these arms which came from a Koenigsegg CCX. So I decided to make my own hinge assembly using some styrene rod. Uh, I inserted a smaller styrene rod into a larger styrene rod and that would form the back hinge section which is going to be glued under the back of the body. Now I then taped the engine lid into position on the model uh, so I could work out how it was going to work on the underside. So I actually put a couple of bends in the arms so that they would mount on the sides of the louver sections and before I knew this was going to work. I made some test blocks uh, just using some little screws to screw the arms into these and I then just glued these with super glue onto the engine lid. Now this was just to see whether the engine lid would open up and clear the back of the car which it seemed to work okay. So the next step was to refine the actual mounting plates. So those big blocks uh, I will throw away and I will make something a bit finer, something that will look not out of place. So I'm using this evergreen styrene angle. I trimmed that down to size uh, with some small holes drilled in it to tap the screws into and these are now glued into position and I screwed the arms on the other side. So the actual convertible top now swings back level as if the convertible top was going to be operated. Uh, and it also swings into a different position backwards if you were working on the engine. So now that that hinge system was sorted out and was going to work, it was time to move on to the painting process of this model. So first I painted all the body and parts in 2K white primer. I then sanded that and sprayed the model in white base coat. I then masked up the body and the engine cover to paint the black sections. So I painted the black section here on the front of the engine lid and also the windscreen frame. Now this will be gloss black when I clear the whole body, which I have not done. I have to add the decals. So you can see here I've marked out the centers of the stripes and the logos uh, just with some masking tape. Added the Perfumonte logo on the front bumper bar. And then I applied the stripe decals on the hood and I also applied the stripe decals and the Lamborghini Tri logos on the rear engine lid. I then clear coated all the body and parts once the decals had dried for a day and pretty happy with how it came out. So these are the doors and the hood. And I also clear coated all the carbon fiber standard auto art parts uh, to bring up the carbon fiber and make them look super glossy. That came out all right. The mirrors came out the best, uh, but the side skirts that were textured plastic, uh, once clear coated, lost their carbon fiber finish. I masked up the body to spray the matte black sections, which is on the front bumper bar, the front cargo area, and the side skirts. I then sprayed those just purely with a Tamiya flat black spray can. 
while that was drying, I fitted the door trims onto the doors. I then added the Perfamonte logos to the side skirts, and then I sprayed some Tamiya flat clear over those sections. Basically, that's the front section done now uh, with the matte black and also the side sections as well. I did do a little couple of touch-ups here and there. Uh, Lamborghini logo added to the front bumper and looking pretty good at this stage. I then added the front mesh to the front bumper bar, the tail lights and the rear mesh to the back of the model and also the mesh in the side air intakes as well. I then added some mesh to the convertible top engine lid and then fitted my hinge arm assembly back onto the engine lid. Put that into position on the die cast body and used masking tape to hold it in position and then I used some JB quick weld two part epoxy to glue the hinge assembly in. Next was to try and work out how this engine assembly was going to fit uh, and make sure I had clearance for my new hinge arms. I then fitted the headlights and headlight lenses back into the model, screwed the doors back onto the die cast body and fitted the front quarter windows as well. I then screwed the strut assemblies onto the front hood and then inserted the front carpeted cargo area back in. These are all standard auto art parts so it was just basic assembly and screwed the hood back into position as well. So this acts uh, just as it did as standard with auto art fully opening. Interior pan was then reinserted into the model and the side skirt extensions were glued back in place. Uh, at that stage, I was then able to screw the main floor assembly back into the model. So uh, after all the paintwork, uh, the wheel, uh, the car is back on its wheels. I then fitted the front window back into the model and then glued the front windscreen wipers back on as well. Uh, it was the next day I let the glue dry for the engine lid hinges, so uh, that works fine. I then glued these two parts together so they would hold together into the back of the auto art model. I then trimmed and added the extra Norev side rear panels to cover the holes. The rear diffuser was then glued in place as was the rear wing and I added a chrome Lamborghini emblem on the rear. Side mirrors were then added onto the body and convertible top sitting in place and that basically finished off the model. So overall I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, there was a lot more work in converting this coupe model to the spider version, uh, a lot more than I imagined at the start using the parts from the Norev, uh, but just it goes to show that it is possible to do some major modifications like this. I'm really surprised that AutoArt never made a uh, Gallardo Spider. They made so many variations of the Gallardo, but never the Spider. So um, going by the comments section on Instagram, so many people would love a model of this car. Uh, so AutoArt really should have made one. But as you can see here, uh, the hinge mechanism works pretty good. This is the first time I've ever really tried to re-engineer a hinge system. I didn't want to use the big dog leg hinges off the Norev model, so uh, although this is not completely accurate to how the real Gallardo engine lid opens, uh, I'm pretty happy with the effort how it came out. So uh, that is my custom Lamborghini Gallardo Performante Spider. So I hope you enjoyed that how-to series of how this model was built. Uh, if, you if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Uh, smash that like button if you like the video and stay tuned, plenty more videos on the channel to come. So uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.